Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Love never ends. Good afternoon all, thanks for coming. We're finally here, it's been a long time coming. Third date lucky, but she was worth the wait. Even the uh, 20 minutes that she will later today. <laughs> the next thank you is to uh, the Yorkshire Building Society. As you know, this is the place where me and Rosie met. I had recently moved teams, so was sat near a Rosie's team and there was a spare desk next to me. Whoever was the last person in had to sit next to me. So one day a week or so after moving teams, Rosie ended up sitting next to me as she was late. I was so charming, witty, and my charismatic self. The, ne <laughs> the next day, she was late again. This went on for a few days over the next week or so, and I thought, I'm definitely here. <laughs> it isn't possible for someone to be that late that often. Turns out, six and a half years later, it is possible. Today proved that. Today proved that. Patrick, will you take Rosie to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Rosie, will you take Patrick to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. I, Patrick, take you, Rosie, to be my wife. I, Rosie, take you, Patrick, to be my husband. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Patrick and Rosie have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Mr. Bride. Finally, the last and biggest thank you is to my wife. Thank you for agreeing to marry me on that freezing cold night in New York. Thank you for sharing my love of travelling, holidays and eating out. There isn't anyone else I would rather dance in the kitchen with, get lost on countryside walks with and hopefully raise a family and grow old with. You drive me on to be better, push myself out of my comfort zone and achieve my goals. You bring out the best in me and hopefully I'll bring out the best in you. So ladies and gents, please join me one final toast to my beautiful wife, Mrs. Rosie Courtney. Whatever we do, whenever there's me, I hope there's you. Now money is funny, it can make people odd. You forget to be happy and you live for your job. When a cuddle and cuppa is all that you need, well then, you find something quite special indeed. Wherever we go, whatever we do, whenever there's me, 
I hope there's you.